It has been one year since perhaps the worst Roblox update of all time was released. Over the years, Roblox has released a ton of controversial updates that have pretty much been universally hated by the community. From the price floor from 2013 to Live Ops in 2019 or the end of traditional events, Roblox has done a lot of really hated updates. But perhaps none have been more damaging to both the players and the developers as the audio privacy update. On March 22, 2022, Roblox released the audio privacy update, the update that made nearly every single audio unusable. Roblox made pretty much every audio longer than 6 seconds private and only usable in games of the person who uploaded them. People could almost entirely only use their audios in their games. They couldn't use their own in other games or others' audios anywhere. All audios uploaded after this change are auto set to private meaning those can't be used anywhere except your own game or any games you have internal access to as well. Possibly millions of games were affected by this, either having certain things lose their sounds or the entire game becoming completely silent. Many active and popular games had to redo their sound systems, while inactive games have gone silent probably forever. All-time great Roblox classics have forever been negatively changed and some are ruined because of this update. Everybody who ever bought the Boombox gears and Boombox or Radio Game Passes have had their money wasted as they're now useless. Almost everybody who ever used an audio in Roblox had to adapt to this change and not in ways they would have liked. This update has had major and lasting negative effects on Roblox as a whole and still continues to over a year later. Roblox says they did this update to help give more control over how your assets are used across the platform. It's more believed it was done due to Roblox getting in legal trouble for having copyrighted audios on the site and making money off of it without authorization though. But instead of just taking down copyrighted stuff, Roblox decided to private nearly everything which was largely made up of non-copyrighted audios. What's worse is that Roblox did a mass removal of copyrighted audios right before the update was announced. That'd be fine on its own, but if copyrighted audios led to this update happening, them doing a mass sweep later means they could have done it before. If they could have just done mass sweeps often or had just properly taken care of copyrighted audios from the time one was uploaded, this probably could have been avoided. The entire audio privacy update likely would have been avoided if Roblox had just taken care of copyright audios before it was too late. But no matter what the cause of this update was, privating nearly every single audio over 6 seconds with no option to make it public was major overkill. It doesn't make sense for Roblox to do this to give us more control over how our assets are used, because now we can't choose how others use our audios. Roblox is now in control of how people use audios, and they made it so pretty much only you can use them in your games. This update has had major negative effects on players and developers alike, and only limits how we let others use our audios. And here we are a year later, with the exact same problems this update caused, without any signs of anything changing. Roblox has still not given users the ability to make their audios public, and there have been no signs of that being a possibility anytime soon. I think the entire time the audio page has said, check back at a later date for when we can make audios public, and will that later date ever come? It's been a year since this update was released and Roblox has still not given the ability to make audios available for public use. Despite it being so long, there has been no word from Roblox or any signs pointing towards allowing users to make audios public. Maybe in an entire year, Roblox somehow hasn't figured out a way to strongly prevent copyrighted audios from being uploaded. Or maybe they haven't done much work on it, and have just left this entire ordeal in the past, putting no effort into fixing it. Or maybe Roblox just doesn't care that this has had lasting negative effects on players and devs and are content with its awful results. Whatever the case may be, it has been an entire year since this update was released and Roblox still hasn't followed up on it. Users virtually have no control over how others use their audios, despite that apparently being Roblox's reason for doing this. Roblox dictated that pretty much nobody can use your audio, and you can't change that, despite Roblox teasing it this entire time. They've dangled the possibility to make audios public for an entire year, yet there's been no changes for that for all this time. Meanwhile, Roblox players and developers continue to suffer because of this update. Players have had their money go to waste and can no longer play audios or customize sounds within others' games unless they have access to edit it. Developers have far less options to work with, 
now relying on stuff they upload or ones mostly uploaded by Roblox, which are hard to search for due to Roblox's horrid search features. Games may not be as good as they could be, devs had to put extra work into uploading and replacing a ton of sounds, and players wasted money and have less to do because of this update. The Roblox community at large has seen major negative effects. Meanwhile, Roblox stays silent while dangling the thought of making audios public in front of our faces. But nope, we can't do that. Not even a year after they released what may be the most damaging and simply worst Roblox update of all time.